Thinking Media in association with Foxrow. We've got world champion Hannah Rankin at here in London for the Savannah Marshall Clarissa Shields uh, press conference. How are you doing, Hannah? Doing very well, thank you. Really excited about this fight. It's going to be a big one. It is. It's a big fight for women's boxing, so I bet, just like me, you're buzzing as a fan as well. Absolutely, you know, you know, we're a bit of a geek about the sport anyway, and having four both of them, I'm just really excited to see this fight finally happen. Definitely. So, to quickly talk about yourself before we move on to this fight. Obviously, your opponent, you know, thankfully she's recovered fine. Yep. Just for the fans, just to give them an update, I understand she's still in Scotland and she's heading out to her home country soon. Yeah, no, um, Alejandro is recovering well in Scotland. A massive thank you to all of the, you know, the medical staff in Scotland. They're, you know, the top of their game. So it was fantastic they could look after her and her family are with her. So, yeah, she's recovering well and she'll be heading back to Mexico relatively soon. Have you had a chance to visit her in hospital or anything? I've not, not a chance. She's been trying to get all of the things, like her recovery done and things like that. But hopefully we'll get a chance to catch up. Obviously, people always talk about the, uh, the boxers suffering the injuries, but obviously the, the other side as well. How did you find dealing with, you know, obviously being in that position? Obviously, you never expect to be in that position as a fighter, and you really hope that you never are. But, you know, um, I'm really thankful to my team and um, everyone around us because, uh, you know, she was looked after really well. Like I said, the hospitals in Glasgow have done an amazing job. Um, and she's full on the way to recovery. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really thankful. And it was a very stressful and scary time. But I'm just, yeah, there were lots of prayers said, and thankfully they were answered. So, yeah. Great stuff, Hannah. So as he alluded to earlier, you've both, both, you fought both women. So if I just ask you straight, break it down for us, because you're probably going to be asked that about a hundred times today. Yeah, so for me, this is a, a fantastic fight. You know, Clarissa, obviously a much more established world champion. Savannah, she wants to unify as well. She wants this fight. And obviously they've got all the needle back from when Clarissa lost to Savannah in the amateurs. So I think the build up for this has been exciting and that's why everyone's excited to see it. For me, personally, like I've always said, I have Clarissa winning this this uh, fight on points. But, you know, Savannah's got that, you know, one-punch power. She's a, she's a big puncher in the division. So, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Puncher, boxer, it's going to be exciting. Explain the power to me, because when you watch Clarissa fight, she looks like she's really heavy-handed, but obviously the knockouts on paper don't show that. And Savannah, when you watch her box, she don't look like a puncher, but then she's knocking everybody out. Explain that to us. So I think with Savannah, you know, she's got that sort of fluid, long, uh, you know, nice, relaxed style of boxing. And I think the, the power just comes with that. She's got long levers, you know, she's really big for the division. Um, and then with Clarissa, you know, she puts it all together with the combination punching, um, you know, and she's got fantastic timing, judgment of distance. You know, you don't get two gold Olympic medals for nothing, you know. So that's why this fight is exciting, because... If Clarissa manages to get inside, how's Savannah going to cope with her being on the inside? Is Clarissa going to be able to get inside? Is Savannah going to be able to keep it long? So there's just so many di different things to think about. Great. I want to quickly move on to yourself. I've seen tweets. I don't know if it's official, but there's been tweets about linking you with a fight with Terry Harper. I know there's talks so I'm going with Tasha Jonas. So you tell us what's going on. I can't tell you guys anything. My team has, uh, you know, all the offers and we're dealing with them at the moment. Hopefully by the end of this week, you guys will have an announcement from me about who I'm fighting next. But, you know, I'm, I'm down for any fight. You know me, I'll fight anybody anywhere. So hopefully by the end of the week, you'll have an answer. And your record proves that, like you fought both of these women. Um, so I understand from what you're saying, Teddy Harper talks are actually, because no one's actually confirmed it, but the talks are, Terry's in the hat as well. I can't confirm anything at the moment. So my team obviously has all the information. And like I said, you guys will find out by the end of the week. Wicked. So I'll just rephrase it. Are you bothered about who you fight, or is it a case of making sure you get, you know, the right, you know, like money-wise, you get the right money and the, the right fight on the right platform? Are you looking at every option? Are you got the final say? Yeah, for me as a fighter, I'll fight anybody anywhere, and that's why I have a team around me to, to make the decisions. You know, it's a business at the end of the day, and it's all about business, and that's the most important thing to think about. You know, for me, I want to unify in this division, so that's an exciting prospect for me, but also there's other exciting fights out there. It'll just be which one makes sense for me and my team, but like I said, you'll know at the end of the week. Well, I respect you for that, Hannah, because you've got yourself in this position, so it's time to make the money and get the fight that's uh, right for you. Absolutely, and I think all fighters want to do that. You know, I've worked really hard to get into this position. 17 pro fights, now two times world champion. It's time to enjoy it and get the fights that I really want. Thank you, Hannah. Unless you've got anything else to add, I'll let you go. Sorry, say again? Unless you've got anything else to add, I'll, I'll let you run. No, uh, watch this space for fight news soon. Thank you so much.